Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the freezer door closing cam on your refrigerator, be sure to unplug the power cord. Open both doors, along with the water filter cover. Pull the toe kick plate free. Disconnect the dispenser harness wires. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw to release the water dispenser wire retainer from the frame. Remove the retainer. Unthread the screw securing the wire connector support bracket. Next, unthread the screw to release the dispenser fill tube retainer from the frame. Remove the retainer. Now use a small flathead screwdriver to remove the locking clip, securing the dispenser fill tube to the coupler. You can use a 7 16th inch wrench to help depress the retaining ring to release the tube. Support the door. Then use a 3 16th inch Allen wrench or a T30 Torx bit to unthread the two screws, securing the upper door hinge. Remove the hinge and have an assistant help you to lift the door off of the lower hinge. Using a 5 16th inch socket or nut driver, unthread the screw securing the closing cam to the hinge. Lift off the old cam. Install the new closing cam by aligning it on the hinge. Then thread the screw to secure. Reinstall the freezer door by first feeding the wire harness and water line through the hole in the lower hinge. Align the door on the hinge and close. Reposition the upper hinge and thread the screws to secure. Fully insert the dispenser water line into the coupler and insert the locking clip to secure. Realign the retainer on the tube and secure it to the frame with the screw. Position the retainer on the water dispenser wire, then rethread the screw to secure the retainer to the frame. Reposition the wire connector support bracket and thread the screw. Reconnect the dispenser harness wires. Reinstall the toe kick plate by aligning the clips on the plate with the brackets attached to the refrigerator frame, then snap the plate into place. Close the water filter cover. Plug the power cord back in and your refrigerator should be ready for use.